Hey guys, welcome back with the new topic. So in this session, we will see what is AAEP. So it is Attachable Access Entity Profile. AAEP is a construct of the ACI fabric that joins separate entity types. It is a critical policy object with associating a given type and VLAN pool with interface policy that will be used within the tenant space. Now I will show you how we can configure the new AAP in the fabric access policy. So firstly, we'll check how we can configure this AAP in GUI. So I'll go in fabric and then access policy and then I'll go in global policies and I'll get the AAP there. So I will just check the name and I'll copy this name and same name I will use in the to search the AAP on the Terraform site. So here I'm typing the entity in the search box and I'm getting the results for AAP there. So this is the example usage of this AAP script. I'll copy this and will use the same one in the main file. Now in the main file here there is the L3 domain is there so I would like to delete this one so I have just removed that L3 domain script from the main file and I have added the script for AAP and here in this script I am giving some names so name of the resource is example and the description is AAP description and also means I am setting up the name here to this AAP so it's a test AAP Terraform and the rest of the things I'm keeping this as it is I'll need to save this file and before pushing the configuration I'll verify in the APIC GUI if that name is already there or not so I'm searching it in the AAP so there is nothing is configured with this name so so I'll type terraform space plan to see the configuration that I am going to push so here you can see AEP I am adding and I am destroying something so last time means I was uh, showing you how to configure the L3 domain so I am removing this L3 domain so it is showing that you are destroying this one okay so as you are destroying something so it is showing that you are deleting a script for l3 domain so now once these things are verified i'll need to type terraform apply i'll going to push this configuration so once it is pushed it will ask you to confirm so i'll provide my confirmation saying that i'll type yes there and then my change will get pushed to the epic and now i'll need to verify this thing in the epic gui so i'll go there on the epic gui and will check in the ap if my ap got pushed or not so i'll verify it and then you can see uh, here i'm getting the new ap with this name test underscore ap underscore terraform so it got created under this AAP. I'll click on it and you can see the name is this one and the description we put is AAP description. So this is the output of this once you push the configuration through the script. Okay. So now here we need to add domain to this AAP. So you need to do some additional scripting to add the domain to the AAP. So in the Terraform site, I'll go there and will search with this keyword AAEP, then I'll get uh, the script for it. So that is the one script AAP to domain. So I'll copy this script from there and will use that script to associate domain to the AAP. So this is my script for adding the domain to the AAP. Instead of data, you need to have the resource name and this is the resource name ACI underscore AAP to domain. So this is the resource name and the name to this resource I have given is example. 
second line is very important here attachable underscore access underscore entity underscore profile underscore dn so this is the syntax that you need to use is equal to aci underscore attachable underscore access underscore entity underscore profile dot example so example is the name of the resource which is used for the AAP and then you need to put dot ID. So this is the syntax to associate policies together. Now the third line is domain underscore DN is equal to you need to put the domain name. It's a ACI underscore physical underscore domain dot example dot ID. So this will map your physical domain to this AAP. I will save this file and will start verifying the configuration in the Terraform. So I type Terraform plan and this is my plan it is showing EP domain I am creating. This is my output of the plan command Terraform plan command and now I will push this configuration and I will confirm typing yes and then it will get it pushed to the APIC and I'll get the expected output. Now it got pushed. So here you can see changes got pushed. Now we'll verify this thing and the APIC. So I'll click on the physical domain and the name of the domain is example and in the domain here you can see test underscore ap underscore terraform ap got mapped to this domain so these are the steps to configure the ap and associating domain to the ap i hope you like this video